Okay, this is an old electronics fan, and this is my old WebCore tape recorder. I have no idea how old this thing is. I wrote down the model number, which I'll probably try to use later if I come to need the circuit diagrams for this. So WebCore EP2911-1. Um, I have a Pioneer reel-to-reel. -reel. It's a stereo uh, tape, re tape player, recorder, tape reel-to-reel, -reel, whatever you want to call it. Can't talk straight. It's a stereo reel-to-reel. -reel. I've been using that mostly because the stuff that I'm recording or, or trying to digitize is all... Um, well, it works much better than this poor old thing does, put it that way. And I have the ability to use the uh, stereo controls to kill one channel and listen to the other and get what I need off from it. But sometimes when you're doing a mono recording or dealing with a mono recording um, on a reel-to-reel, -reel, putting it on something like this may make the difference between being able to get something off from it and not. So, I've come up against a tape that probably needs me to do that. At least I'm going to try that. This, I know, is in need of servicing. I um, did turn it on. I put it on my uh, variable uh, transformer, isolation transformer, and I did get that typical dead capacitor hum out of this thing. So, I have no idea how bad anything else is in this. It's it's old. I've owned it, I don't know, 20 years or so. I've never done anything to this that I can remember. It's been long enough that I just simply don't know. So, I was in the process of taking the back grill off in this effect. I'm going to drop the camera down a little bit because over here in the back is instructions. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit. You can read them. Let's see, go down a little more. There. Alright. And let's see, slide in there a little more. Now, apparently there's a stereo version of this. Um, this is not stereo, as far as I know. Um, Odd, but it gives me instructions on how to get this thing apart. And I was just starting to do this part, and I was trying to see what I could see from this part, because they talk about replacing the tubes, and it says remove this grill to replace tubes. So I thought, well, why not? Let's see what we can see. Highly doubt that's going to get me where I want to go. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go much deeper, and I have to go in through the top and actually take this out of the case. Oh, come on. Alright, now this has a safety interlock, it says. Um, this has been sitting somewhere damp, and I have no idea where that might be, because I don't recall it being stored someplace damp while I've had it. But, um, I had to go retrieve my flashlight. Let's see, oh, there's the tubes. Yeah, this might be newer than I thought it was. Um, Hmm. Okay, so I have to get this panel off. Because this is not going to come out of the top if I don't get this off. So let's see. So I have a nasty feeling that uh, rust has invaded the connector for this. Come on. Yeah, this seems to be no. Aha! Oh! It was up there. Aha. Well, okay. Surprise. I th was thought, thinking it would pull straight out. In fact, I had to go down and back. Of course, that's where the manual probably would have helped me out, which I didn't get. And I may regret that, but let's see here. All right, so this is what we got. Um, all right. And... Yeah, so this is 50s vintage, I'm guessing. Well, 
50s or early 60s could be it's still old um, hmm. and let me tell you this beast is heavy and right there let me see if I can slide this over a little bit this thing let's see here we go that's just one indication of, uh, everything about this thing is it's built like a tank I, I remember that much I think I must have been in this at one point or another so the way you take this apart I believe is on the top there are screws let me back out a little bit because I think you can't see everything all right the knobs have to come off these three screws have to come out uh, the screws here here the screws on the sides uh, the screws on either side when they're on this side and on that side those screws go into that bracket that we saw earlier so let us begin let's see if I can do this without too much grief so first thing take the cannabis off a whole lot easier than I thought it would. Okay, it's warm. Let's get rid of this. These uh, rubber cups keep the reel reel tapes on. Uh, if you have it, this has a handle on one side over here. Uh, unfortunately, it has to come to age. But this is a por portable. <laughs> Yeah, sort of portable, reel to reel. And so if you have a tape already on the thing, having these cups inside there keeps them from keeps things from going away on you. All right, so the screws, the screw here, 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 here. So let's go there. Oh, let's go. Hmm. That's not encouraging. That one came out. Let's throw the screws over there. My little thing there. Try to keep them from rolling away on me. Right. I think this is what I have to do. Um, let me go back and read my instructions. It does tell me a little bit how to do this. All right. Does it say move screws from case sides and bottom, lifting it from case? Eight screws. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm probably getting ahead of myself here. Okay. So let's see here. Let's look on the bottom. Because it seems like they said there are screws there. Oh, there are. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, and you can't see much. So I should pay attention to my camera more. Alright, sorry about that. Um, okay. So now, uh, let's see here. Got two screws here. So that's four, and I just took one, two, three, four out of the bottom. They say eight screws, so this should do it to get this out. Let's see what happens. is getting this thing out of here without killing yourself. I'm thinking and 
there it goes. Yeah, they're concerned about this damage on the unit. Okay, now, that was fun. Let's see here. Uh, I don't think you can see a thing that I'm doing in there. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I can't see anything. All right. This has got two speakers in it. A little oval. I don't know what that thing is. Like a, I don't know, 3 by 6 something like that. And it's got the regular, looks like a 4 inch. And they are kind, they were kind enough to give us removable connections. Oh, and I have uh, these things. I have no idea where they came from. Um, oh, yes I do. I see where they go. I'm not sure how you get them to stay there. Huh. Well then. Um, the, the spacers are... Let's see here. I can't see. Can't get you a good picture of that. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. That's the spacers that I took out. These guys are um, apparently go here and here. Interesting. They could have made that a bit easier. All right, so what I'm going to do is set this thing so it doesn't fall over on me. Get this out of the way. And then I'm home for that. Now, so clearly I did not have to take that off. And what I want to get at is put that on this side. And once again, all right. Um, Pretty basic. Uh, they put those couple of nice looking speakers in there. All he's got are three tubes. And let's see. So I don't have a circuit diagram for this. Um, let me poke around a little bit. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Let's see. Well, let's see what they are. This one is. Uh, 7025. Not one I'm familiar with. I'm sure that crosses over to something else. Let's see what you are. 12AU7. I know that I'm pretty sure that's an audio tube. And what are you? 12AU7. Alright. Now, what's interesting is that when you swing this around, And this is the power supply, it would seem. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, right there. Okay. So it looks like the power transformer here. 12X4, that's, I believe, a rectifier. What are you? Twelve AB5. I don't know what that one is. <clears throat> okay, there's more to this thing than I thought. So, I'm pretty certain, based on what I heard, that we're going to have to do something about that electrolytic. That seems to have aged out. And... Come on. That does not want to go where I want it to. You know what? I have to take that out of there anyway, so we're going to set this tube over here for the moment and find out what's involved in the second part. I should probably put that. Hmm. Apparently there was a clip. This clip was secured to something and it stopped being secured to something. 
put that aside. All right. So what have we got? Oh, some of the spacers are. No, you can't see that. Some of the spacers are still stuck to the metal brackets here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. This is a solid metal base. It's got these metal brackets here. It's got metal piece here. It's got another aluminum panel, partial aluminum panel. And it's got a metal top cover on here. This is all solid metal. And yet in the wooden case, and you've got something that weighs a ton. All right, so let me see what we got here. Um, interesting. I think. I'm thinking. Yeah. Wondering. I think I really want this bracket out of the way. Because everything's hiding behind me, and I bet I'm not getting that apart if I don't do that at least. Let's see, is there a way? Yeah, not really. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what happens when I take these three off. If I'm lucky, this whole metal panel comes off, plastic parts and all. One can only hope. I have a feeling that one of the screws that's still keeping that plastic panel in place has to come out. So I think I'm betting that, yeah, this isn't coming anywhere. All right, let's see here. Aha. Well, now, that's very interesting. I like how that worked. Um, the screw I was hoping to have come out, unfortunately, what it did was this uh, standoff. Decided to unthread from there first. That leaves me the other standoff over here that has to come out yet. Okay. Put you over there, out of my way. Just try to get you loose. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. Let's see. And... Alright. I don't know if that was necessary, but... Oh, yes it was. Okay. So there goes that part. Okay, now, so my goal is to get these guys, get these screws and those screws out, and take this tube out just to be safe. And what are you, a 6E5? Huh? They had a, a variety of those, um, of those uh, I tubes. And I'm not familiar with all of them. I'll try it with this. I'll try it from here. Alright. I'm going to have to get something to get in here better. And I don't have my other tools that I want to use. Um, hmm. Okay. I managed to persuade this screw to come out. That was going to be my problem child. I found other tools to get the rest of these out. Um, 5 sixteenths socket takes care of these. Come on. Oh, there we go. 
Now this gets very interesting because now it doesn't want to stay nicely on its side the way I'd like it to. Um, oh, let's see here. Can I persuade it to cooperate? Yes, okay. It might be low tech, but uh, I'll set you there for a moment. I'll have to get one of my other blocks under there. I think. Yes, that works. Okay. All right, now, let's see where we're aimed here. So what I have to do is get these two screws and these two screws out. Loosen them up for a moment. Okay. And can I get in there with this? They sure didn't make this easy to get at. I think she got her by George. Okay, now let's get in here somewhere. Um, I'm going to lay this on its top. That's probably the safest thing to do. Alright. So it looks like this is a combination of things. This looks like an output transformer. Let's see, what was that? Um, what was that supposed to be? So this speaker. Yes, it is. So these two wires, I'm going to make sure you're seeing me right now. Let's go here. Um, yeah. So this, okay. All right. um, well, this is what comes of relying on your memory. I should know better. My memory told me this was a mono recorder. My memory apparently is wrong. So I will be looking up information on this. So I don't know. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. All right. Amplifier. So this is an amplifier and power supply. That's what this is. Okay. So I'm thinking. Um, so I've got my. So on the other side of this plate, I have my fingers on the circuit board. So this has to do, actually I'm not going to go there because it looks like I've got two identical tubes on here. And if this is stereo, then this would be one channel output and another channel output. Uh, there's another tube on here, which I'm betting is a preamp. I'm a little bit puzzled as to why we have a tube on here that might also be audio. I am not familiar at all with the way these things are wired and set up. This, is, this will be my uh, first old reel-to-reel -reel that I've uh, done anything to. I think what I'm going to do is 
I'm get this thing set up here where I want it to go. Alright. Because I think what I want to do is um, get these is get these um Again, I have to pay attention to where I'm pointing and make sure you see it. There, there are a couple of jacks here, quarter inch jacks. I'm going to take those out. Let's see, is this the right size? No. Alright, so what I want is this one. That is, okay. Alright. Oh, really? Does not like to come. That's what happens when things get rusty. All right, so there's the speaker jack, which is connected to one end of that power supply slash amplifier, and we'll just try to keep things together that way, and then. Um, I have this one which is going to be in the way, so I'll we'll take you off. I think this one feeds to an output. Um, external amp. So I'm guessing this is what you call what we would call today a line out. So I hope it is. And it sure does look like it's a stereo jack. If you look at this, actually it's not. Oh, that's interesting. That's a mono jack. Interesting. Hmm. It's curiouser and curiouser. Um, those look like stereo heads, so. Very intriguing. All right. I hadn't planned on getting into this real deep. My goal was to dig into this a little bit, get it working well enough, so I could try to recover music and whatnot from one of the old real real tapes I have that uh, isn't working real well on my Stereo Pioneer unit. Alright, so that should mean uh huh. Interesting. Hmm. That is gonna be a problem. I don't know what you are seeing, what you aren't. Let's see here. Um, let me move this over here so you can see what I'm up to. All right, so what I've got here is a rather snug fit. I want this to come up and I want to flip it up. It doesn't really want to do that very well. So I've got wires over here and I've got wires over there. They weren't, and there's wires over here. How oh, lovely. You know, this wasn't really designed for servicing, was it? You know what I'm going to have to do, I think? Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I know what I have to do. Well, now. Um, let's see here. Slide this out of the way. Put this over here. Keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't go away on me. So I think what I have to do is take, let's see. Um, I'm probably getting my head in the way. Uh, let's see here. Hoping, 
hoping I've got just three screws that hold that amplifier in. Okay, and it's got to be quarter inch. So somewhere here, I have a quarter inch socket. I believe. And this and this. So that's that. And that. Let me just take a closer look at that. Hmm. That's interesting. I have to figure out where that goes. Flashlight. Okay, so that is the screw that goes there. And the two screws there. And there's a screw over here. They sure didn't want you taking this apart. They really didn't. Oh, yes. Because that's the... Uh... Alright. So there is... Once again, I can't see it where my finger is. There's a uh, record switch. I play switch. And there's a bracket it has to have... Okay. So here's what we are going to do. First of all... Take that screw out. I already did that, okay. Did I? Hmm. Alright. Let's see. getting a huge accumulation of screws. Now where are we at with this thing? Did I? That screw still has to come out. I missed it. Okay. Don't fall up on me. Alright, here we go. Of course you did. Alright. Now, let's put this on its back again. That goes to the. I know what this goes to. Where am I? Okay. This goes to the. Um, where the. I think the plastic panel mounts and the controls are. Um, well, now. I thought I was all set here. Those top side, though I know that much. Uh, let's see here. Huh. They sure didn't want you taking this apart. This one. All right. 
Let's see, are we in the right spot? Um, yes, okay, so we have little C clips floating around in here. And there's another one here. I don't see things put together like this anymore. In some cases that's good, in some cases that's bad. All right. And just so I remember, it appears that these plastic pieces go here and here. I believe. Yes. Yep. So if I forget, uh, let's see. Yeah, there we are. So we've got this one and this one. That's kind of a note to me. I gotta put this back together. I know where those are. So um, let's try to put this face down again. Let's see where we're at. Hmm. <laughs> I can have this thing half apart before I get done. I'll try to avoid that though. Um, okay. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Fun. here. I've got a wire that goes here, and it goes around here, and it's caught under this bracket. And there's zero room to maneuver that, from what I can see. Let me see if I can slide that down. No. I don't want to have to... Maybe? does not want to go. Hmm. Well now. Let's see. What else can I do here? Let's see. <laughs> um. I am definitely checking this out. Um. This, oh, this is really not fun. I knew they could be hard to take apart, but this is more than I expected. However, I feel like we've got things on this board that are going to need help. So we've got this one, we've got that one. I have no idea what shape that's in. This capacitor, though, that puts this in a newer age bracket. So, what can we do? What can we do? Um, let's see here. And where does this go? That goes down through the chassis top side. Probably goes to the heads. How nice. Hmm. Let's see. Then I'm going to have to clean this up if I want it to be reliable. That looks pretty nasty. But I have the tools. Whoops. Watch the camera. Oh, I'm thinking here. Ha ha ha. Well, here's my problem. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That's nice. I didn't see that. It was nice of them to give me a socketed connection. 
Is that going to get me anywhere here? goes to there. And from the looks of things, the last person to take this apart unsoldered that. Hmm. And where does this one go? That goes down there. They really don't want you getting at this, do they? Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm thinking. Let's let's see. Um. Oh, they really did not make it easy. So I got a quarter inch through here and here. But at top, you can kind of see the holes there. Those little fingers that go down and grab the top of the circuit board. So... Thinking, I'm thinking... This is going to be a royal pain. Um, well, let's fire up soldering iron. Which I do. Since I'm digging into this as far as I am, I'm going to, and I don't want to take this apart again anytime soon. As you can see, they sure didn't make it easy to work on. So I'm going to try to make sure that when I put it back together, that all is well. And, um, okay. So if I take this off, and I insider this, it might give me enough room to maneuver things a bit. We'll see. And I'm on camera a little bit. So here's what I see. I'm going to take this little safety interlock out. So I happen to have, if I want to use it, that will hook into that directly from an old TV. Oh, I stopped hitting my camera. Alright, so that is free. That is free. And so, and then I've got this going over there. And that goes into the switch assembly. Man, this sure did not make this easy. If I can get this out of the way, all right, so here's what we are going to try. And I'm going to... Okay. So that's out of the way. And let's see. Oh, that did the trick. Alright, so that gives me access somewhat. Alright, so that's the electrolytic right there. Hmm. Well, this is what I really want to get at, but I really also want to check these out, especially that one. Um, let me see. Can I find out what it says here? Interesting. 40, 40, 40. So it's a three part electrolytic. Let's see, I bet, I'm, I bet you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Nope. All right. I am here um, looking at this electrolytic. And so we got a, 350, a four, 40 microfarad at 350, another one at 350, another one at 25. Okay. Right. 
Um, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. Huh. I gotta show you this. <sighs> they really don't like me. Alright, let's look at this. This down here is the wire that I believe goes up top side to the on-off switch. It goes into this, goes into here, and then heads out and winds up over here. <sighs> Why? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Just to make my life more miserable, I guess. Well, I suppose if I really wanted that out of there, I could. So. So I need 340 microfarad caps to take care of the electrolytic problem, plus whatever this is. Now, so I still want to get this circuit board off. I do, I do. And the only way, well, let's try this and see where this gets me to, where this gets me. Um, and then over here. Of course. And let's get that out of there so I can, so I can hopefully not lose it. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't see, whoops. I don't see the screw came out of there. I don't see any other screws holding that in. Okay, so that's loosened up. What can we do here? Um, take that apart if I don't have to. Is there a way around it? I don't know. Um, mm, yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. That goes there. Ooh, I just found. All right, so that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make note of where these wires go. Since I happen to have a camera handy. <laughs> okay, I found out where that other one. It goes to go that quarter-inch jack on the front. So I can pull that off at some point. Interesting. Um, all right, so where I'm going to go is here, and I'm going to get a close up with my camera so that I can remember where those wires went. So this wire goes there, and that one right there next to this, and that ground goes there. Okay, that's better than I thought. Let's go remove some wires. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Word. All right. So that's off. That's off. Ouch. Hot. And get you off. There we go.
Should have done that in the first place, I guess. Alright, can I? I'll get this out of here now. This is a bit challenging. Alright, so... Maybe. Oh. Yeah. Grommet oh. type thing. Well, it's not. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> oh. That's fun. do this. First of all, it's all I really want to do, all I really want to do is get this free from the circuit board so I can get to the back of it. That's what I want right there. Well now, All right, let's take the two and put that back where, oh that's the jacket, okay so this two goes here, I don't want to get confused, alright, now, what do I have for capacitors? Seven there. This one's sixty. Oh, I'm one short. I'm one short. As you can see, I did take up wind up taking the circuit board completely out. Uh, this uh, was taped after I put new components on it. Um, I realized when I was going to do part two, I didn't have uh, well, I didn't have a closing image for my part one and uh, so I grabbed this from part two so uh, as you may have guessed I am wrapping up part one here and I will pick up part two um, with the uh, actual repair work uh, all that all this time spent just trying to get to the point where I could repair it this thing is a bear to take apart but uh, I hope it's been interesting Seeing how they used to build things, this thing is a bloody tank, for sure. So, anyway, I uh, hope you'll join me on part two. Uh, I'll go over uh, some of some of what I had to replace and uh, put it all back together, and we'll have this thing working again. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be part two. I never know until I'm all done putting this together how many parts there are going to be to this, to any of my videos, because uh, I just film it as I'm working, and then uh, rake it up. This is a longer part one than I've done in the past. So uh, I hope it's okay with everyone. I, I've done a whole lot more. I spent a whole lot more time on the disassembly part. Uh, again, I hope that's interesting to folks. Uh, if not, I'm hoping they'll hear it in the comments, and I'll adjust accordingly. Thanks.